everyone, this is JD coming from my domain. Also, wishing you all a happy Halloween. Now, if you saw from my last video, I was at Yumikai in 2020. So for today, I'm going to be doing the first ever souvenir segment video. So I'm going to show you the merchandise that I got from Yumikai. Let's check it out. Let's jump right into it. So for the first segment of my video, I have this. This is a, now I know this is a little unusual, it is a Croc Onana. I think that's what they called it when I was there. But this is basically a crocodile shaped as a banana. And it's from a website here called SorbetJungle.com. Now, this is something I've not seen, but it's kind of interesting. And I decided to give this little guy a name. I named him Quapa. You know, if any of you play Far Cry 6, that's, this is a good name I thought it was good for this little guy. It's Quapa. It's Quapa because Quapa's a crocodile, but he's not a banana. Yeah. You know. Okay, moving on to the next. And now from the last day that I got, I got, for today, that was the last day I was there, I got a Naruto winter hat. They also had one like this, where um, where you see the hidden leaf and you can flip it and go to the Uchiha clan. So this this one I have here says Ichiraku Ramen. That would be basically the ramen that Naruto loves eating. Yeah, it feels really comfortable. This will this will definitely be good for winter. So that was the winter hat and the Krakenana. Move on to the next. I'm sure those of you who have gone to like comic conventions or something, they have these fan boxes. From last time I was at Motor City Comic Con, I got a Punisher one, because I'm a big Punisher fan, a Batman one, and for free I got a Loot Crate game one. This one I got a Transformers one, Autobots one. Yeah, there's a Decepticon and Autobots, but I'm more of an Autobot guy instead of a Decepticon. Alright, let's see what goodies we have in this fan box. And it looks like we have this little tin holder, probably for like coins or wallets or something. Now if you could look here, this is a really good uh, title screen right here. Okay, that was one of them. Let's see what else we got. It is a... It's a seatbelt buckle keychain. I've, I've seen seatbelt uh, belts anywhere. Those are really cool. But I've never seen a uh, buckle for that one. That's cool. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see what this one is. This looks like a probably a belt. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to unveil it. Oh, well look at this. It is a belt. Kind of like a seatbelt belt, but uh, different. And it says more than meets the eye, and there's the buckle part right here. And let's see what else we got in here. And it looks like we have a wallet, Transformers wallet. And on the back, it's got Grimlock. Okay, now this is a really good art design. I, I love the design of this wallet. It's really cool. Okay, it looks like we only have one item left in the box. Let's see what it is. This one is a lanyard. A Autobots lanyard. Now this, yep. Oh, it's stretchy. That's perfect. Works for me. That's pretty good, but this is pretty good stuff. However, I'm a little disappointed that it didn't come with like a like a hat or like some clothing items. Some fan boxes do, like the Batman one did, so did the Punisher one. But 
These are pretty good stuff, especially the wallet. That's a good one. Okay. I have a few more left. They also had a comic book stand, comic book area here. And I got this really cool Punisher comic. Punisher Shadow Masters. Now, I have not read this one yet. And I'm looking forward to it. I'll be reading that later on. I love the cover, though. My guess is that it's probably like, you know, Punisher fighting ninja or something. But that would be cool, though. Okay, let me just move on to the next segment. The next merchandise I got here is a King Kong plushie from the Godzilla vs. Kong movie. Not the original one, but the uh, 2021. Now, I'm actually glad they finally had a King Kong plush because I love, don't get me wrong, I like Godzilla, but I've been a King Kong fan since I was six years old. And I think there's a video with one of the YouTubers I'm collaborating with explaining why I'm a fan of King Kong. So, yeah, look at the details. It's got the scratch, it's got the eyes, and the fur is a lot more softer. I used to have one actually when I was six years old, and it was from the Confrontation ride. That that's a ride that you know my mom, and my sister were not fans of, but my father and I we loved it to death. It was it was a great ride. But yeah, the, even the new King Kong ride, the Peter Jackson one, is also good too. Anyways, I have one last merchandise to show you guys that I got from Yumicon, and you guys are probably gonna be thrilled. Here it is, a Keyblade. Yeah, they had a bunch of Keyblades when I was in human time, and what really amazed me about the keys is the fact that they came from the third one. Like This one I got is the Toy Story one. That's one of my favorites, because if you play the game, it shoots like rockets or something. And look at the handle, it's got the Star Sheriff, Cowboy Hat, Cactus, and the handle is like the Star Command symbol and a rocket. And right here, you can see here is the little green alien that's on there. Yeah, yeah, I got it from a guy that like, yeah, they have like these foam weapons for cosplayers that are so cool. However, unfortunately, they had to stop for selling those. I thought it was because of like popularity, but it was other things. But I was in luck that I was able to get one on the first day. Well, that's it for, well, that's all the souvenirs I have for this unit from that Unicon. And don't forget, make sure to comment, like, subscribe if you really love this video. This is JD saying, see you next time.